Welcome, this is Tess from Guess Yoga and today we're just going to flow fit through a grounding practice. Um, if you would like to get a block, we're going to come into Varasana. If that's not comfortable, you could sit and cross-legged. Just make sure that you've got the height that you need under your seat so that there is no compression or unwanted feeling in the knees. And then just soften into your seat. Take a deep inhale, and as you exhale, just descend through the pelvis. Feel the sit bones make contact. Just feel that sense of yielding to the support of the earth. Today's practice, we're going to begin to explore the idea of meeting polarities in the body or opposites, and focusing on this horizon line around the pelvis, which everything down from their legs and feet, really yielding to the support of the earth, and then upward from the pelvis, that sense that the more we soften into our foundations, feel into the structural support, the more that we can find that buoyancy upward to the crown of the head. So just begin to interlink the palms, and press the left finger, thumb next to the index finger, and then the right finger over top. So this is Ustash Mudra. And we're going to place our hands behind our head. So just let the elbows come out to the side. And I want you to just begin to deepen your breath, inhaling and exhaling through the nose. Just observe how the breath feels in the body. Let the shoulder blades descend down the back towards the pelvis. And then just visualize the body as we map our way round, like an internal compass. So as you take an inhale, reach up through the crown of the head, maybe taking the tongue to the soft palate, the mid part of the upper roof of the mouth. And then as you exhale, descend again down through the sit bones to the pelvis. Take another inhale, and go east towards that right elbow, really extending out. And as you exhale, again, descending down into your seat. Take an inhale all the way up to the crown of the head again, finding that length north of the pelvis, and then descending again as we exhale down through the pelvis. Take an inhale, and begin to sensitize west, reaching out through that left elbow, sensitizing to the back of the shoulder blade on the left side. Exhale down again, feeling the foundations of legs and feet, try and make contact with all 10 toes. And then another inhale, reaching north, reaching upward, relaxing the back teeth, squeeze the shoulder blades, really invite the elbows back. Last exhale, and then inhale, reach up through the fingertips. Take a nice morning stretch overhead. And then as you exhale, reach the right arm back down behind you and bend at the elbow, bend the left elbow and let the left palm just meet the nape of the neck. Let the right palm either rest across the lower back or turn upwards towards the shoulder blades. No need for the hands to meet, just a gesture that the right hand is moving up and the left hand is moving down. Begin to now take an inhale and just sensitize all along the left side waist, all the way up to the left elbow and start to make little miniature circles with that left elbow. Begin now to just sensitize to the back body, sensitizing all around the back of the shoulder blade as you inhale. Drink the breath all the way down to the tip of that shoulder blade. And then as you exhale, draw up the front and out. Last one, circle in the opposite direction if you haven't changed. And then inhale, twist towards that left side. Maybe look towards your left elbow. Maybe towards the left armpit. Exhale, twist to the right. And then inhale, big stretch upwards with both arms. 
As you exhale, descend the left arm all the way around and back, and then bend at the right elbow, finding that position on this side. Left palm drawing upwards towards the heart space at the back, between the shoulder blades, right palm resting towards the nape of the neck. You can lean your head into your right forearm, squeeze the elbow in towards your right ear, take a big inhale, find that length. Visualize lengthening all the way along the right side as you draw those miniature circles with that elbow, beginning to circle the other way. Really focusing the attention to the back body. Sensitizing as the breath draws in and down towards the lowest most tip of the shoulder blade, descend it further towards the kidneys on the right side, that kidney band, and then exhaling all the way up and out. Take a big inhale, stretch the arms all the way up. And then as you exhale, reach forward and come forward into all fours. Take a moment to spread the palms really wide, spread the toes. Let all 10 toes come down, turn the fingertips inward and check the spacing of the shoulders. Middle finger just grazes each other. The spacing, turn the fingertips back towards the front of the mat. Really imagine that there is an extension beyond the periphery of the body. So the palms are descending like root systems, the shins, the feet. Feel the stability. And then with the inhale, find that buoyancy and lift up through the spine. Reach back and out through the sit bones and simultaneously forward through the crown of the head. Walk the left knee in and then step the right knee behind it and then wing the shins out. So left foot goes out to the right side of the mat, right foot goes out to the left side of the mat. Draw the left hand into the middle and take an inhale as you unfurl and reach the right arm up to the sky. As you exhale, descend the hips as you reach the right arm forward towards the front of the mat. And just feel into the stretch on the outer hips, the lengthening into the right side. One more breath, take an inhale to begin to come back up, hands come down. Unfurl the legs, just find your all fours position again, and then just pause. Weaving the right knee into the middle, stepping the left leg behind, and then winging the shins out, this time right shin and foot to the left side of the mat. Draw the right hand into the center of the mat, then take an inhale and reach up through the left fingertips, squeeze the shoulder blades to find that opening in the heart. As you exhale, descend the hips back, gazes forward and down, long to the front of the mat as you reach forward with those left fingertips. Soften through the jaw, relax the belly, and just feel the descent of the pelvis. And then that buoyancy as you drink the breath up the spine and out through the crown of the head. Inhaling, coming forward, back to all fours, and furl the legs. Take an inhale, tuck the toes. And as you exhale, stick your sit bones back. Imagine that someone is lifting you from ropes attached to the sit bones, lifting up high, like they're attached to a flotation device, reaching the crown of the head forward, drawing a little bit more weight towards the front of the palms, Feeling into the upper and mid back, drawing back and up through the sit bones as you energetically extend the heels away, feeling that lengthening downwards through the backs of the legs. One more breath here, spread the fingers, spread the toes, that little pranets. So helping to keep that flow of energy and breath in the body. Slowly look between the thumbs and begin to tiptoe to the top of the mat. Let yourself fold, really bend generously through the knees, take the forearms and just gently sway. Or we'll find stillness if that serves. But just really letting the body hang, feel the weight of the head like a sack of potatoes. 
Let the head be the deep dive. The torso finds that length. Cascading over the legs. Drink the breath up from the heels all the way up the backs of the legs and then let it just flow down the spine, the crown of the head and out. Take an inhale, bend the knees lots and draw the forearms so they frame the head. Reach energetically forward through the forearms as you shift some weight back to the hips. Feel the heat, heels of the feet really commit to the earth. Take an inhale, begin to lift up into that chair position. Feel that activation through the side waist. As you maybe descend a little bit deeper, drawing energetically forward, not through the forearms. Take an inhale, press into the feet and then begin to come all the way up. As you exhale, descend the arms, reaching out to the sides. Press into the feet, draw the palms together and just take a moment to feel, spread the feet. Imagine a north, south, east and west, a compass radiating from the arch of the foot and then moving forward through the middle toe, back through the heel and then out through each side of the foot. Feel the perfect balance and equilibrium over the feet, micro bend the knees, draw the pelvis over the ankles, the shoulders over the pelvis and feel that sense of buoyancy, the locking through the joints so that the breath can flow freely. Slowly release the arms down, take a big inhale and reach up. As you exhale, reach back with the hips, reach forward through the crown of the head and fold in, bowing into yourself. Take an inhale to find a halfway lift. And as you exhale, sprinkle the fingertips down, step the right foot back and bring the right knee down. Keep the hands down for a moment, energetically reach forward through the crown of the head and then hook the thumbs, take an inhale, squeeze through the side waist as you reach upward. As you exhale, begin to lean the arms towards the left side of the mat, maybe engaging a little deeper through that right glute to stretch into the front of the pelvis. Try and find that sense of balance through the shoulders, drawing the right shoulder back a little in space, keeping that sense of equilibrium through the rib cage. Take an inhale and reach up. As you exhale, take the hands down, frame the front foot and step back to all fours. Inhale. As you exhale, squeeze elbows into side body and lower knees, chest and chin. Come forward into baby cobra. Hands underneath the shoulders, press all ten toes down. Activate the legs and lift up as you inhale. Squeeze the shoulder blades. As you exhale, lower down, tuck the toes, come back through active child. Toes are tucked, hips to heels. Inhale, round forward, cat-like with the back. And as you exhale, Reach the hips back, use that momentum and lift. Imagine the flotation device attached to your sit bones and lift back to downward dog. Press into all 10 fingers and the left foot, reach the right leg up and back. Squeeze in as you exhale, the knee towards the nose and step the right foot through, lower down the left knee. Fingertips forward, hook the thumbs the uncomfortable way, inhale, reaching up. As you exhale, imagine that concertina in the right side waist, lower rib is moving, descending to the pelvis as the left side opens out like a bird's wing. Really breathe into those spaces between the rib cage. Take an inhale, press into both legs, feet, and activate inwards towards the midline to draw you up. As you exhale, reach forward, tuck the back toes and step to the top of the mat, fold in. Take an inhale to find a halfway with the left foot back, crown of the head forward. As you exhale, another deep dive. Inhale, press into the feet, root to rise, coming all the way up. As you exhale, flowing forward and down again. Take an inhale to find a halfway lift. As you exhale, left leg back, left knee down. Coming all the way forward with the arms, drawing the right arm over the left to find eagle arms, taking the palms together or drawing the left wrist, palm around the right wrist. You can make a fist with the right palm. 
and then reaching up as you inhale, press and activate the right foot towards the left knee and vice versa. Feel the lift through the pelvic floor, then gather in and up as you inhale through the forearms. One more breath. As you exhale, descend the arms, that lever forward, north, and then begin to release, step that foot back, lowering down as you exhale, chest and chin, squeeze the elbows into the side body, coming all the way forward and up into cobra or baby cobra, press the 10 toes into the mat, exhale, drawing back to active child, inhale, round forward, cat like with the back, pop up through the back of the heart, as you exhale, tip and tilt the sit bones, draw them back to the heels and then magnetize the top the pelvis up towards the sky, pressing to all 10 fingers and the right foot and inhale the left leg up and back. As you exhale, squeeze in, draw that knee towards your nose and step the left foot through, right knee lowers down and tuck the toes, reaching forward with the arms, this time right arm over left, beginning to draw up to find eagle arms, pressing down into the earth, to find that rebound upward. Breathing deeply here. Such a simple act. Something that Donna Fahey talks a lot about, that yielding to find that rebound and buoyancy upwards. See if you can feel it. Descend down from the pelvis, commit with the exhale to your foundations. And then as you inhale, maybe find a little more lift upward and out through the crown of the head. As you exhale, release the arms, fingertips down, tuck the back toes, take an inhale. As you exhale, step forward to the front of the mat and fold in. Inhale, press into the feet, reach up through hot fingertips and eyes. Exhale, flow forward and down, folding in. Inhale, halfway lift. As you exhale, take the fingertips down, step the right foot back, right knee down. Inhale, keep the fingertips where they are, squeeze the shoulder blades, lift the gaze, and find that lift and lengthen through the spine. As you exhale, lift the left toes and guide the hips back for half Hanuman. Try and draw the left hip back, right hip slightly forward, and then tiptoe all your fingertips towards the left side of the mat. Take an inhale, look towards the left corner, and as you exhale, bow in. One more breath here, breathing down the back line of that left leg. Take an inhale, fingertips back to frame the front foot, come forward and then step back to all fours. Exhale, knee, chest and chin down to the earth. Inhale, coming up into your back bend. Exhale, tuck the toes, rounding forward as you inhale, cat-like with the back. Exhale, drawing back to downward dog. Take an inhale, press into the left foot and hands, reach the right leg up and back. Exhale, squeeze the knee in towards the chest and step the foot through. Take an inhale, find that length through the spine, to send the sit bones back towards that back left knee as you reach forward through the crown of the head, lift the gaze. Then as you exhale, reach the hips back behind you. Begin to tiptoe the fingertips to the right side of the mat. Look towards the top right corner. Take a big inhale, find length in the spine. And then as you exhale, bow in. Finding that sense of length, committing through the feet. Spreading the right toes, really energetically mapping out through that right foot through all the lines, take an inhale, hands frame the front foot, draw the hips forward. As you exhale, step to the top of the mat and fold in. Take an inhale, check the feet at hip distance. You can place the fists together between the feet and then draw the left hand to the middle of the mat in front of the feet. Imagine a tricord or triangle, right hand to the lower back, bend into the left knee and twist to the right side of the mat. Try and draw the left ribs under and stack the right ribs on top and then maybe extend the right arm. Gazing upward to the right shoulder, elbow, fingertips. As you exhale, sweep the arm forward and down and swap sides. Right hand comes down, left hand to the sacrum. 
bending the right knee, left leg lengthens, reaching up with the left arm. Take a deep inhale, really open and expand through the back of the heart, squeeze the shoulder blades. As you exhale, reach that arm all the way down, bend the knees, again, frame, frame the head with the forearms, reach the hips back, descend a little bit more weight into the heels, then inhale, come forward and up with the torso. As you exhale, maybe sink a little deeper, then inhale, press into the feet, reach all the way up with the forearms. As you exhale, now turn towards the right side of the mat. Exhale back through center, take a big inhale, reach up through the forearms as you press down through the feet. Exhale, left side. Inhale back through center, and this time drawing the forearms over to the right, lateral stretch, concertina the right side of the body, feel the expansion all the way from the left knife edge of the foot all the way to the tip of that left elbow. Inhale, gathering through the sideways like you're wearing a corset and draw all the way up. As you exhale, draw the forearms to the left side of the mat. Big inhale, fan out through the right side of the body, feel that gorgeous stretch all the way up the right side. And then gather in through the sideways, draw the navel back slightly towards the spine to protect the lower back. Take a big inhale, reach the arms up. As you exhale, flow forward and down. Inhale, find a halfway lift. As you exhale, plant the hands and step back to downward dog. Take an inhale, lift the right leg high. As you exhale, squeeze that right knee in towards your chest, round and pop up through the back. Step the foot through. Find your foundations. Sprinkle the fingertips forward, hook the thumbs. Press into the earth and then begin to rise. Lengthening up through the fingertips. The fingertips are moving north as the pelvis descends south. Reaching energetically forward through that right knee as you reach back through the heel. One more breath here. As you exhale, reach the left fingertips forward, the right fingertips back. Feel energetically the levers, your limbs, like that they could stretch on in space indefinitely. Lengthening out through the fingertips. Take a big inhale and as you exhale, descend that left hand towards the earth, turning towards that right inner thigh. Big inhale, stretching up towards the right fingertips. As you exhale, frame the front foot and step back to downward dog. Take an inhale, round forward to plank, long and strong. Squeeze the arm bones together. Exhale, knees, chest and chin to the earth. Inhale, coming forward now into cobra. Exhale, reaching back, downward dog. Lift in the sit bones high. Take an inhale, press into the right foot. Reach the left leg up and back. As you exhale, squeeze the left knee in towards the chest and step that foot through. Hook the thumbs, take an inhale, reach all the way up. Exhale, descend with the pelvis. Inhale, reach up higher with that right heel. Stack it over the right ankle. Lengthening up through the fingertips. One more breath, gather in through the side waist. And then as you exhale, right arm comes forward, left arm back, teeing and turning to the left side of the mat. Big inhale. As you exhale, reach the right fingertips down as you energetically reach up through the left fingertips. Turning towards that left inner thigh, one more breath. Exhale, hand comes down to frame the front foot, step back, downward dog. Take an inhale, ripple forward to plank. Exhale, lowering down, knees, chest and chin, all chaturanga. Inhale, coming up into cobra or upward dog, pressing the tops of the feet, active through the legs. Exhale, drawing back to downward dog. Take an inhale, lift the right leg. As you exhale, turn the right hip up towards the sky and bend the right knee. Squeeze the right heel towards your glute and then make circles with that knee. Imagine 
drawing a bigger and bigger circle each time. Breathing and creating space around that hip. Imagine the breath circling around the hip, like the circle you're making with your knee. And then squeeze as you inhale the right heel up and back, drawing that right hip down, paralleling through the pelvis. And then as you exhale, squeeze the right knee in towards your nose. Exhale, lengthen back. Inhale. And as you exhale, draw that right knee towards your right wrist. Lower the shin down on a 45, so that that right foot is roughly just in front of the left side of the pelvis as you begin to lower down. Take any props you need under the right side for pigeon, so that you can find that sense of balance. Lengthening down through both sit bones. Take a deep inhale and reach up through the crown of the head. And as you exhale, bow forward and down. Inhale, lengthening up. Squeeze the fingertips towards the thumb and vice versa. Find that lift through the palm. Then squeeze front knee and back knee towards each other and find the lift through the pelvis. Maybe the pelvis even lifts up. As you exhale, descend everything down to the earth. Last inhale to reach up. This time as you exhale, see if you can inchworm your spine a little bit longer to the front of the mat. Inhale, coming up, plant the palms underneath the shoulders, tuck the back toes, and inchworm that back foot in a little bit. Take an inhale, lift up, reach that right leg back, and as you exhale, reach it down to the earth. Press into the right foot and inhale, the left knee up. As you exhale, open the hip up to the left side. Bend into that left knee. See if you can draw the, the left shoulder down, keeping the gaze down to the mat. And then begin to make circles here. Visualize a little lung in your left hip and breathe into it, expanding and just lubricating the joint with that movement, with that breath. Take an inhale, lengthen the left heel back. Draw that left hip down so that the two hip crests are looking towards the mat. Take an inhale and as you exhale, squeeze the knee in towards your chest. Inhale, reaching back. As you exhale, left knee towards left wrist, lowering down onto the shin. Coming all the way back on this side. Making sure that the toes are pointing down towards the bottom corner of the mat. Take a big inhale. As you exhale, reach the crown of the head forward and down. Inhale, find that buoyancy through the back body, lifting up between the shoulder blades to draw you upwards. And as you exhale, descend the heart like a stone towards the earth. Inhale, rippling back and up, drawing the chin in and then lifting the gaze at the end to find that length through the lumbar spine and then exhaling, descending, last one. Take an inhale, coming up, taking the hands underneath the shoulders, heel toe that back foot in and press into the hands, take an inhale, reach the left leg back. And as you exhale, descend the foot. Take an inhale, look between the hands, and step to the top of the mat and fold in. Inhale to find a halfway lift. Exhale, bow in. Inhale, coming all the way up, reaching up through heart, fingertips and eyes. As you exhale, draw the palms together and draw the weight into the left foot. Press down through the left foot, engage the left leg, and reach up the right knee. As you exhale, open the arms out to cactus, open the knee out and circle through the ankles and the wrists. Take a big inhale. As you exhale, step that foot behind like a curtsy into the queen. Draw the palms together at your chest. Take a big inhale, lift. As you exhale, left elbow towards the inside of the left knee. You can extend the right arm back behind you. Feel the polarities of the pelvis drawing back as you reach forward through the crown of the head. Shift a little bit more weight into your toes. Inhale, coming up, reaching up with that right knee. And as you exhale, draw the foot in for tree or vrikshasana. Press the right foot towards the left inner 
thigh, calf or ankle. And just find the breath. Begin maybe to take a variation, taking the forearms behind the back, around the elbows or wrists, maybe taking prayer. And then just let the breath be the loudest story in the body. Really amplify the breath to meet any challenge, any wavering, and let the foot do its calibrating. Visualize that tree moving in the breeze, not static, but alive, living, always moving. Take a big inhale, reach the arms up, reach the knee up, and then as you exhale, bow and fold forward over the legs. Take an inhale, reach up through heart, fingertips and eyes, press into the feet. And then as you exhale, draw the palms down, press into the right foot, begin to lift as you inhale the left leg. Exhale, open out to the side, cactus the arms, left knee out, and then begin to circle through wrist and ankle. Take a big inhale, reach the arms up, and as you exhale, step that foot behind, curtsying, bend in both knees, drawing the palms together at the heart, then right elbow on the inside of the right knee, maybe extending the left fingertips back, maybe following with your gaze. Take an inhale, reaching all the way up, bringing the left knee with you. And then as you exhale, drawing that foot in towards the right inner thigh, taking that position, calf, ankle, or thigh, inner groin, then choosing your arm variation here. Try and feel that sense of balance. Imagine that internal compass. Imagine north through the toes, then Descend a little bit of weight into the heel of the right foot and then really sensitize to the knife edge, left and right, east and west. And then find that polar, that pillar all the way up to the pelvis through that right leg. Magnetize that left foot towards that right knee. Slowly inhale, reach the arms up, reach the knee up. As you exhale, let the foot descend and bow forward and down. Take an inhale to find a halfway lift. As you exhale, step back to downward dog. Take an inhale, reach the right leg up. As you exhale, step it forward and through and lower down the back heel so that it's parallel with the short edge of the mat. Inhale, left feet, lift the left arm, spiral it all the way up and back to find warrior two. Now feel into your foundations. Take an exhale and descend south through the pelvis. Inhale and find that pillar upwards through the crown of the head, through the roof of the mouth, the tips of the ears. As you exhale, imagine east and west extending out through the limbs. One more breath. Exhale, reach the left arm forward, draw it over the right and find the eagle arms again or variation, taking the shoulders, Try and lift the forearms a little higher as you inhale. Gather in through the side waist. Feel that length puff up through the back of the heart. Draw your armpits upwards. And then exhale, descend forward and down on the inside of that right thigh. Maybe heel toe the foot out a little. Humble warrior variation with eagle arms. See if you can shift the right hip back towards the back of the mat. Press down through the knife edge of the left foot. Then inhale, come all the way up. Unfurl the arms, straighten into the legs. Take a big inhale, reach up through the crown of the head. And as you exhale, begin to descend with that right arm, lifting your left arm up to find Trikonasana. Root down through the ball joint of the right foot. Feel that spiral upwards through the arch of the foot. Squeeze the inner thighs together. Then turn the palm towards the left ear and descend the arm over possibly to find a deeper lengthening through the left side waist. Reach the left hip back as you spiral those left fingertips forward in space. So we look down towards the mat, let the hands frame the front foot as you turn onto the ball of the back foot. Descend that left knee, heel toe the right foot out so the hands come on the inside of the leg. Take a big inhale, wrap the triceps 
back, turn the eye of the elbow forward towards the front of the mat and lift the gaze for a moment, take a big inhale. As you exhale, maybe lowering down onto the forearms or staying up, but just feeling into drawing the left hip forward in space, lengthening up through the crown of the head. If you feel that there's a rounding around the lower back, see if you can lift the gaze forward a little bit along the floor, helping to mirror that cervical spine lift around the lower spine. Then take an inhale, reach the right arm up, twist towards the inner left thigh, and then maybe bend into the back knee and cup the fingers around the toes, making a C and closing with the index finger and thumb, flex the foot, Take an inhale, draw the hips back towards the heel. Staying here and energetically reaching front foot and back knee towards each other to really find that lift in the pelvic floor or maybe descending with the hips. Finding the gaze point that works for your neck. Trying to draw that left shoulder back in space. Drawing that left arm bone back into the socket and then descend in the shoulder away from the ear reach forward through the crown of the head slowly release that foot take the feet tuck the toes lift the back knee and then turn the feet to face the right edge of the mat so on the knife edge of both feet then beginning to reach up with the right arm heel toe that right foot down so it's in line with the pelvis as a kickstand in your side plank maybe taking that foot back in front of the left foot or stacking see if you can spiral the left ribs forward and feel as the right ribs expand up towards the sky stacking lengthening out through the crown of the head and then exhaling drawing that right hand down press out through plank lower down as you exhale knees chest and chin Inhale, reaching both palms towards the lower back, letting the elbows wing out and drawing upward, pressing firmly through all 10 toes, lift the kneecaps, activate the thighs. Exhale, lower down, hands free, under the shoulders, coming back, active child. Inhale, round forward. Exhale, let the hips draw you back to downward dog. Press into the palms and the right leg, inhale, left leg up and back. As you exhale, squeeze the left knee in towards the chest, step it through, lower down right heel. Find that framework with the feet, a warrior two. Front heel is in line with back arch. Reach the right arm and open it up like a rainbow to release the arms in that T-shape at chest height. Take a big inhale. Drink the breath up from the earth, from the feet, all the way to the crown of the head. And as you exhale, maybe descend a little deeper, drawing that front thigh parallel with the earth. Take one more inhale. Then as you exhale, sweep that back arm forward and over the top of the left and find your eagle arms. Take an inhale, puff up through the back of the heart, gather in through the side waist, lift up through the armpit, find that lift maybe as you lift the forearms towards the sky. And then exhale, descend on the inside of that left thigh. Feel, surrender, let the weight of the arms begin to draw the torso forward and down. Try and draw that left hip back in space and really commit to the knife edge of that right foot. Inhale, coming all the way up, straightening into that front leg, opening the arms out to find that star shape. Take a big inhale. Squeeze the feet towards each other and then as you exhale, energetically reach out through toes and fingertips, descending to find Trikonasana, triangle pose. See if you can inch on the left side of the waist a little bit longer. Turn the palm, right palm towards the left ear and descend it overhead, finding that length through the side body. Reach back through the right hip as you reach forward through the right fingertips. One more breath. See if you can find some softness around the belly as you exhale. Slowly lower that hand down. Turn onto the toes of the back foot and release the back knee, the right knee to the mat. Heel toe the left foot out and find 
the hands framing on the inside of the front foot. Roll the shoulders back and down. Feel the shoulder blades descend to the pelvis as you reach forward through the crown of the head. Maybe as you exhale, lowering onto the forearms. Finding some space in that left hip. Breathing there, circulating and orbiting the breath all around the hip joint. Then press the right palm into the mat, lift the left arm and turn inwards towards your inner left thigh. Energetically squeeze as you inhale the shoulder blades to pump the heart open, squeeze, drawing forward through the roof of the mouth, crown of the head. Descend the sit bones back towards the crease of your right knee. And then maybe begin to bend into that back knee, find that seal or grasp around the toes, flex the toes and inhale, draw the hips back towards the foot. As you exhale, maybe descend forward. Try and roll that right shoulder back in space. Keep a micro bend in the elbow so there's buoyancy through the joint. Take a deep inhale. As you exhale, unfurl. Take the hands back to the mat and tuck the back toes. Take an inhale, lift the back knee and then heel toe that front foot down so it's in line with the pelvis. Turn onto the knife edge. Outer edge of both feet, maybe inhale in the left arm up. Kick sand here with the left leg inside plank or choosing your variation, releasing the left leg on top of the right. Imagine your flotation device attached to your rib cage, lifting it upwards, lifting the pelvis higher. Then slowly exhale, turn all the toes to the front of the mat, release the left hand down. Step back to downward dog. Inhale, lift the heels high, ripple forward to plank. As you exhale, press back through the heels as you reach forward through the crown of the head and descend all the way to the mat. Release the toes, take the hands behind you into clasp the palms, squeeze the elbows and shoulder blades together, press all 10 toes to the mat, draw the pubic bone forward and up and inhale, lift the chest. As you exhale, maybe lift the legs. Feel that sense of buoyancy as you grow longer through the front body. Concertinaing through those lower ribs descending towards the pelvis. And then releasing down. Turn to one cheek. Just take a moment. Let the body settle. And then second round. Choosing your variation, maybe extending the arms alongside the body, inhaling, pressing down through the front body, draw the pubic bone up towards the heart, energetically send the heart forward, squeeze the shoulder blades, hug, magnetize everything towards the midline, like the core of the earth. Reach the fingertips back as you reach forward through the crown of the head, exhale to lower, hands underneath the shoulders, tuck the toes, coming back, to child's pose, widen the knees for a moment, reach the fingertips forward and descend the heart towards the earth. Maybe bending into the elbows, pressing the palms together and reaching them back to the nape of the neck. Connecting with the breath again here. And then just descending with the breath all the way down the spine, rooting the pelvis more to the earth, more to the heels. And then that exhale comes all the way up the front body and out. So just follow that cycle of circular breath. Let the breath massage all the way down the back body. Helping to warm and release any tension or holding there. And then slowly begin to heel toe the hands upwards. Sit over to one side and draw the legs forward. Take an inhale, draw the right knee in. And then as you exhale, turn the right knee out, the right foot rests in towards the inner left thigh. Turn towards your right knee, 
take an inhale up with the right arm. And then as you exhale, take it behind you, left hand to the right knee, and just twisting now towards that right knee. Find a gaze point, maybe the chin in line with the chest. Soften and descend south. Sit bones, pelvis, the tips of the shoulder blades. And then inhale, lift the heart. Take an inhale, lift the left arm. And as you exhale, lower the left arm down towards the left leg. Take an inhale and reach up with the right arm. You can bend the left arm and rest it onto the shin of the right leg and then begin to descend the arm overhead. Think about length more than depth. Utilize these levers, our limbs, and think about reaching energetically forward. The left foot is now north and that palm is reaching towards the northmost point. Taking a few more breaths here, maybe making contact with the foot, spiraling the left ribs under, the right ribs up towards the ceiling, and then slowly inhale, come up, exhale. Twisting again towards that right knee, and then as you come forward, draw that right knee up and hug the right foot back in towards the right hip then lowering that leg down left side reaching the left foot towards the left glute and then opening the left knee out twisting towards reaching the left arm up exhaling it back towards that left knee now right hand can rest on the thigh pressing out through the right heel growing longer through the right leg Inhale, the right arm up. Find that length in the side waist and then keep the length and let the arm travel down towards the right leg. Reach up the left arm. Maybe begin as you find that length to descend that left arm towards the right toes. Inhale, find length. Exhale, maybe finding a little bit of a back bend. You can begin to take the hand to the foot or take the palm to the back of the skull and begin to reach up with that elbow and find that opening and gesture of a back bend. One more breath. Exhale. Coming all the way back up. Twisting towards that right knee and then using the left hand to draw that left knee in, squeezing it in towards the glute and then lengthening the leg forward. Cross the feet and come forward onto all fours. Draw the right foot in front and the left leg behind. Take an inhale, follow diagonally forward on the floor. As you exhale, begin to descend the hips back for Gurmukhasana. Finding your seat, taking anything underneath your seat to give you more height so that you can reach both sit bones to the earth. Then a gorgeous tip from the wonderful Demelza. Pressing into the feet, looking down towards the pelvis, try to center the pelvis. So the tendency with this right knee forward would be for the pelvis to lean to the right. So beginning to shuffle your weight so that you can find that balance and that center point with the pelvis tracking directly back from that front knee. Then drawing the arms forward, we're going to take eagle arms again, left arm forward, right arm under, finding that gr grasp that works for you, remembering that there is no end point. So just finding what gesture, what is speaking to the language of your body today, right now, and then finding that length as you inhale up through the crown of the head, and then exhale, begin to possibly descend forward and down. Keep that rooting down through the sit bones. Drawing forward with the arms. Send the breath all the way down the back body. Feel it weight down, a big pool of warm water. 
right where the hips and the pelvis rest. And then swirl the breath like you would swirl the breath when you're brushing your teeth all the way around the pelvic bowl. Take an inhale and then exhale, last breath. See if you can just drop, surrender, release. At the base of that exhale, begin to draw upward, inhaling or finding length. As you exhale, unfurl the arms and come forward again to that all fours position. Unfurl the legs, find all fours and just pause for a moment. Feel the roots, feel the foundations and then find that buoyancy and lift upward through the spine. Left leg forward, right leg behind, wing the shins out to the side of the mat and then begin to descend with the pelvis towards the mat. Find your balance on this side. Take a moment to feel both sit bones, maybe do a little bit of manual shifting with the pelvis. And then honor this side. So it may be very different. And like one great teacher once said, and I can't remember who it is, we never compare sides like we would never compare children. So let them be different. Inhale, reach the arms up, press the right arm over left, find eagle on this side. And then let the exhale be an expression to release, to soften, to surrender, and maybe descend forward. Keep that sense of weight in the pelvis. And if you feel like it's lifting, just come up with the arms and work at a place where you can find that sense of leaning into the interval between those two polarities of pulling and surrendering, of yielding and lifting upward. Amplify the breath to meet the intensity of whatever stories are playing out in the body or mind right now. And then slowly at the base of the exhale, really finish that breath and then inhale, begin to draw up. Release the arms and sweep them back behind you. Lean back and then release the legs forward. Flop the feet side to side. Plant the feet, reach the arms forward and as you exhale, roll all the way down towards the mat. Take the feet behind your seat. Knees up towards the ceiling, open the arms in a T to the side and just windshield wiper the knees side to side. The movement can be very subtle. Maybe the whole of the foot stays planted and you're just moving the knees, feeling that gorgeous massage around the lower back and towards the outer crest of the waist and hip. And then slowly shuffle your butt to the right and descend the knees to the left. Taking any props underneath that left knee. If there's any talking or pulling on the right hand side or anything going on around the sacroiliac joints, honor what your body needs. Then maybe turning the gaze toward the right side. And then find your inner compass. So inhale. Lengthen upward through the roof of the mouth, the tips of the ears, the crown of the head. As you exhale, descend now. Descending down through the left knees and then arcing down to the base, the soles of the feet. As you inhale, spiral out all the way along that right arm to the right palm and feel the contact and connection to the fingertips, the pinky finger, and how that breathes aliveness, spaciousness into the back of the lung, the upper lung around the shoulder blade. Slowly, now with the exhale, descend all the way down the left arm, all the way out through the fingertips. 
Next, inhale, begin to draw the gaze back to the ceiling and draw the knees upward. Take a moment to let everything settle. And find that space between the breaths, that natural pause between the inhale and exhale. Try not to rush. And then left with the hips, right with the knees. Beginning to descend the knees down to the earth. Taking the gaze to look out over that left shoulder, palm. And then just work with your inner compass. Feel that sense of extending beyond the limbs, extending beyond the imprint of the physical body. And feel it all centering outward from the pelvis, from just below the navel. And slowly begin to draw the gaze back, begin to mirror with the knees, drawing them upwards towards the ceiling. And then just pause for a moment in constructive rest. Take any last movements you need before Shavasana. Maybe Shavasana today is this position of constructive rest, particularly if the lower back is got any resonance or is speaking to you right now, or there's anything in the sacroiliac joints. This is a gorgeous place to find a sense of heaviness and a sense of release around that area. Otherwise, descending the legs, the arms, and finding Shavasana. Close the eyes, take a deep inhale through the nose, exhale out the mouth. Do two more like that, seeing that exhale as a, an invitation to really drop, surrender, like when you have a hug from a close friend or a loved one, and there is that drop into that embrace. Find that with the earth, with your mat, with the floor. And travel there with the exhale. Maybe there needs to be an expression with sound, a sigh, a lip flutter, a yawn. Just knowing it's a gorgeous way to tap into maybe even unconscious areas of holding or tension in the body. And then just let the body rest. Feel that drop. And just ride that breath like a wave. Letting go of any conscious control of the breath. Let the breath move like the breeze. In and out. Completely effortless. Just let the body rest, let it do its calibrating and absorb all the gold, all the glitter, all the glow from your efforts. And just feel that pulsation of breath, that comforting rhythm. Find that sense of expansion with the inhale intensification and then let it marinate out through the body as you exhale. Just focus towards that center point around below the navel. And then imagine just like a, a star. Let it intensify with the inhale. And then exhale, reaching out in all directions. Feel like that web, that connective web around the body. Feel that energy and breath 
moving outward in all directions. Connecting with all the other stars. Visualizing that constellation of stars. Twinkling with the ebb and flow of your breath. Just feel that luminosity. All of it. Stay for as long as you can in the Shavasana. Another minute or so, or maybe longer. And when you come up, just make some gentle movement, deepening the breath, and letting the breath feed that movement. And then slowly rolling to your side and coming up. Make sure that you have a good hydration after the class. I say namaste to all of you.